Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So in this video tutorial, we will learn a bit about the oscilloscope and how we can use it inside the multisim. So you can see that on right hand side, we have a lot of gadgets like uh, multimeter, function generator, watt meter and oscilloscope etc. So first we will take our oscilloscope. Now drag it out and this is our oscilloscope. Okay, now we will display a lot of waveforms on this oscilloscope. So we will go to the play source option and click on it. Now we can see that we have a lot of power sources like AC power and all these things. Then signal voltage sources. So first we will take our AC voltage. Okay now, we need to connect the positive end of the oscilloscope with the positive end of the source that is the alternating source or sinusoidal source. We also need to take our ground. Ground and we need to connect it with the, this. Okay, now we, we need to connect negative side with the ground of the uh, this alternating or sinusoidal source. Okay, now we will proceed to the properties of this AC voltage. So we can see that we have voltage peak is 1 volt. And you must not confuse it with the voltage of peak to peak. It is just the voltage from the zero line to the positive axis. It is from zero line to the positive axis. It is one volt. And from zero line to the negative axis, it is also minus one volt or one volt, you can say. Uh, we can change its frequency from one kilohertz to one hertz. Okay, can we change its frequency to two? Or yes, we can, okay. So if you want like 2, 3 or 50 or even multiple of this F, you can write it here. Okay, then press OK. Okay, now we will uh, run it. Okay, now it is 1 hertz and 1 volt peak signal. Okay, now you can see that we have a lot of square like boxes on this oscilloscope. So wh what is meant by these boxes? They are, this is actually called as the grid. Uh, it is having its uh, x-axis and y-axis as an element. So here we can see that we have 10 millisecond per division, but we will increase it to one second per division. Okay, one second per division. It means that one box is representing one second. One second, but how that it will, it is like, uh, it is representing one second, but on X axis, like going, if, if you are going from left to right, one box represents one second, okay? Okay, now we can change the position of the waveform. Okay, so, okay, now one, one more thing, one more thing. And what about the amplitude setting we have? 5 volt per division and 5 volt per division means that from going from the bottom to the top one box representing 5 volt but we need to decrease them out okay now this like this okay that is 1 volt per division 1 second per division when if we are going from this point you can see my cursor up to this point this is representing 1 second but if you are going from this point to this point, it represents one volt. Okay, now our signal, there are two parts of our signal. One is this, the signal starts from this and ends at this point. This is like uh, from zero to, we can say that it is 180. Okay, so in one second our signal is from like uh, this point to 
this point. So this is our signal in one second. And what about its amplitude? One volt, as I said you earlier, that one volt means from from zero line. This mid white line is our zero line. So above on above it, we can see that we have part of the signal which is which is one volt because it is one volt per division and on the negative side it is one volt so we can say that it is two volt peak to peak signal one volt peak signal but two volt peak to peak signal because this is the positive peak and this is the negative peak of the signal so we can uh, see it like that okay if you like to decrease it 500 millivolt then you can see that our our now one second represents two boxes uh, sorry one volt represents two boxes but if you consider it one volt per division then one box just representing one volt and one box on x-axis representing one second okay can we uh, like uh, can we move some uh, can we draw some other waveforms on it yes we can okay like clock signal or any other thing like that we can delete it out okay wait we can delete it out we can go and we can take clock signal the clock voltage because clock voltage is the square wave square wave form okay we can change it to one hertz and 50 percent and voltage one volt okay now we will run it right it is 50 per okay so so just 50. okay now run it now you can see that our waveform changes to square waveform uh, if you want to change its position on x-axis then you can change it like that okay like this and if you want to move it on y-axis you can change it like that so this is the basic functionalities of the oscilloscope so hopefully you got this very simple concept so thanks for visiting our channel